Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Hub back into the video today and today the Indianapolis Colts are signing Joe Flacco to a one year $8 million deal and I gotta say, um, this signing, I was so, as a Texans fan, I, I don't think I've ever been so happy for a signing because I was, I think it was after, not, it wasn't after day one of free agency Monday, it was after day two of free agency Tuesday, it was after, you know, uh, Jameis Winston signed with the Cleveland Browns. I was thinking, okay, where's where's Joe Flacco gonna end up? Because I thought I thought originally he'd either go back to the Browns. I thought he might go to New England and be a bridge starting quarterback to whoever they drafted. But they signed. Uh, they ended up signing Jacoby Brissett, who was another former Browns quarterback. But so then I started wondering where Joe Flacco, and I started. You know, to think, okay, where where's places that Joe Flacco might end up? And thinking about teams that could use or, you know, could want to bring in a backup quarterback. And a team that I really thought about was the Indian indeed the Indianapolis Colts, because this was just the day after Gardner Minshew signed with the Raiders. And also we know we all know Anthony Richardson has had his injury problems. Um he, you know, in his in his rookie season, I hope this doesn't continue on for him, but he could not stay on the field. Uh, he had consistent injury problems. Um, so I thought the Colts would give a good look to him. But the, the funny thing is that when this signing happened, I was like, oh my God, I nailed that one. But at the same time, everybody was saying, this is such a surprising signing that the Colts are signing J Joe Flacco. I'm like, it shouldn't be that surprising that this move happened. Their current starting quarterback, Anthony Richardson, has constant injury problems. Actually, funny enough, the shoulder, the injury that Anthony Richardson has constantly had a problem with is the same type of injury that the Browns starting quarterback, Deshaun Watson, suffered where Joe Flacco came in and took control for the Cleveland Browns and did such a good job. One comeback player of the year and only played five games in one additional game in the playoffs and still won that award over a guy who almost died on the football field. Another guy who was basically, you know, given up on in Baker Mayfield. So that shows you how good he was. He had a four they had a four and one record when he was their starting quarterback. Four and two if you include the playoff loss to my favorite team, the Houston Texans. Yeah, I'm still happy about that 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 win, even though then we lost the Ravens. Uh 123 for 204, 60 point three completion percentage. Um 1,616 passing yards, 13 passing touchdowns and eight interceptions. The interceptions were a little whack, but um, and, and he's, you know, really has never had an interception problem. I mean, you know, occasionally like the most interceptions he's ever thrown in a season is 15. Um, and I know that's a lot, but you know, you know, even after 15, the closest number besides 15 is 13. I mean, so, I mean, 2019, he threw five, 2020 through three, 2021, he threw zero, but only played in two games. Uh, 2022, he threw three. So, um, interceptions, you know, haven't been, you know, a terrible problem for Joe Flacco, but it has been something that has, you know, popped up in his, you know, in his career as a problem. So that's, that's one thing to know, but I think the, the good thing is for the, if you're the Colts, you have Anthony Richardson and he's the future, he's a great quarterback, but you have a guy like Joe Flacco, uh, who, you know, can step up. If you need it to, you know, you need somebody to, and you have Joe Flacco just in case Anthony Richardson, and you know what, I'm not going to wish upon an injury for Anthony Richardson, but honestly, it, it, I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, I wish I say this and then it doesn't happen, but with the way we've seen constant injuries for Anthony Richardson, I, I just can't imagine a fully healthy season from this guy. I mean, I, I think, you know, it, it's it would be down for you know at some point throughout the season him to go down and you know leave the game and then the next week he'd be fine but then you have to have a guy like Joe Flacco uh, who's a great backup quarterback and a great quarterback we just saw him do with the Cleveland Browns step up while Richardson can't you know while, while he can't be there to start if something like that happens and um yeah so let me know your thoughts on the signing in the comment section and peace out